I see a lot of people get into trouble in this position here. Um, this is really, really specific for just this map, but it's also a position that I think, like, a lot of people are going to run into. Like, most weapons probably have experienced this at some point. So, you're down a couple of players, you're fighting over here, trying to keep the enemy team back, you realize it's probably not going to happen, you kind of back up, and you're trying to fight this way or something, but you realize you're about to be overrun. What a lot of people I've seen do is just super jump out of this position, but, like, that's not always necessary. A lot of the time you can just do this. And if you don't have this painted, it's like, well, how did you get there? Like, why are you over here if your whole escape route is already painted up? That's probably not the case. They probably come here first and then get up to here and paint this. So unless you're up against something like with, like, really long range that can actually hit that spot way over here where you land from a position that's, like, safe to be fighting you at over here. Like, maybe, like, a stamper charge slash or a squeezer could probably hit this. If there's, like, a charger watching you over here, then maybe don't go for this. But, like, a lot of the time it's just, like, a short-range shooter rushing you. And why not just back up over here? You've got all this cover. You can bomb the ramp. Be like, haha, you don't get to go there. And you don't sacrifice anywhere near as much time or space. If you jump all the way back on this map, you're gonna end up coming from exactly the same direction as all of your teammates, and now, like, all of you are in one line. Like, let's say I'm the attacking team right here. Everybody that I'm scared of is in, like, the range of angles from, like, here to here. That's, like, all I've got to worry about. Maybe up here, or up here, if people are being extra adventurous. But, like, here to here, I can just keep all of that on my screen at the same time. Whereas... If I'm here, now someone who's pushing up has to be looking at me, but also probably has to be looking over here. Might not see people who are getting up over around there because they're still stuck back here on the spinner. Like, you sacrifice a lot of leverage on the map by giving this area away too easily. And you also have high ground over them from here. Like, look at how disgusting this is that I can do with my slosher right here. I can hit people who are hiding behind here with this weapon from that range. That's partly just my weapon is very good. But also, this is a pretty powerful spot. These bombs are very good. Like, I dare you, try and get through here. Even if I'm outnumbered, I can at least put some stuff in their way and buy some time for my team instead of just completely giving up and sacrificing this one of the most powerful choke points in the entire game. So consider this squid roll. The squid roll's really good. I get away with it more often than not. And certainly there are probably some matchups and some situations where it's not a good idea. Maybe if people start catching on that you're doing that, they start maybe throwing a bomb in that area or something. But make them stop you from doing this instead of just giving it all away and jumping back and completely surrendering your plat.